As the sun rose over Abuja, thousands of people were already waiting to vote. They didn't know it then, but it would be a long wait. The day started peacefully in most of the country, with tempers only flaring as complications with smart card readers arose. There were also disagreements over what order people should vote in. When you come into the place, you write your name, your number. We thought they are going to use the name to call us so that we can cast our vote. But now, they now say they are going to use it by alphabetical order. So now we are trying to, they are trying to fix everything now. We hope everything will go on fine. These voters were asked to write their names in a sheet of paper. That's not why next this election should be run. But while in Abuja, the inconveniences were comparatively minor, that wasn't the case everywhere in Nigeria. Uh, we have Nigeria. seen the card reader not function. Uh, we have even seen one incident where the card reader is marked functioning and you put your PVC, but it reads the records of someone else. Uh, we have also seen incidents of violence in Abia, in Abuja here, where um, due to inso in insufficient materials, voters became very agitated and then it became rowdy. We have also seen reports where party agents are supporting alleged party faithfuls, helping them to vote. Uh, we have also seen um, incidents of um, arrival of polling officials very late, but without materials as well. So it's all across. This is my second visit to this polling station in Guarimpa today. It should have opened at 8 a.m., but at 10.30, voting still hadn't started and the mood wasn't great. Honestly, I'm taken aback at the situation of things this morning with INEC emphasis on uh, preparedness. The way uh, the, we are told that everything has been organized and we're going to have a very credible election. I expected a better situation than this. People came out here very early in the morning. If you check around, you see a lot of confusion everywhere, uh, both from the, uh, those who are to accredit us. And you know, when people are becoming too impatient, they are definitely going to be disorganized. So people are getting stressed because we've been here since 6 a.m., hoping that. That we'll come and get it done at the right time and go back. So we are really not too happy about what is happening now. It's clumsy. They had four years to prepare. I came here at five in the morning and by look at the time now. 10:25, they've not started, and I came here at five. I slept here by the door, by the gate. And up to now, they've not it's clumsy. Four years to prepare, clumsy something. Somebody should be sanctioned. I think there's a lot of confusion here. We are supposed to have started voting by eight o'clock. This is past 10 o'clock, nothing has started and we are not even sure that we are going to you know, do the voting today. So I don't know what arrangement they've been making. They came very late, the INEC staff came around 9 o'clock and up to now, now it's after 10, but we could not be able to start it because of the organizations. There is unorganized, this thing. they did not arrange the this thing on time and what have you. Now it's almost 11, but we could not be able to, to start making, uh, uh, making our own votes. Five hours have passed since then, and observers that I've spoken to this afternoon say that things are now running smoother, and as you can see, the crowd has thinned out considerably. But what's happened here is far from an isolated case. We're seeing a similar pattern of delayed openings across the country. Uh, we are collecting information coming from all over the country and what we can say for the moment is that uh, uh, we, we have seen that there is a little delay on opening the polling station and uh, polling units. Uh, so this is the most important information that we collect from this morning. We have seen a very slow opening to the polls nationwide. Uh, some states are up until 12 noon. Uh, have not opened as we speak and you will recall that by INEX guidelines such polling units are not to go ahead and have this election today. Uh, unfortunately they will have to postpone and schedule for tomorrow. As at 12 noon we were far far below 75 percent opening across the country so that's quite slow. Despite that rule this polling station in Abuja began voting shortly before 2 p.m. INEC announced an automatic extension for polling stations which opened late, but not all of them adhered to that instruction, keeping the cut-off at 2pm regardless of opening time. This election was marred by trouble. There's allegations of intimidation in Lagos, an attack in Maiduguri, and several journalists were either detained or mistreated by security services. It's unclear yet if this election was as peaceful as 2015, 
But what we do know is Nigerians turned out in force, determined to have their say on who will lead the country for the next four years. Faith R, Arise News.